All right, guys, we're back again today. Live here at JW Solar USA. This is what I'm doing right now. So um, I've been so busy doing all the stuff and uh, let go of the battery project for a while. But uh, I'm back again trying to do some things here. This is how trying to configure uh, this video is going to be how to configure your Nissan Leaf battery to 48 volt or 24 volt, 12 volt, 36 or 60 volt configuration. Live here in Minnesota, so this is what happened here. I took the um, one of these guys, the covers here, to protect the terminals out. So I'm gonna be doing the, to that, to the rest of this uh, string, or this bank right here. If you look at it, you will see how it's configured, uh, the positive or negative i can't even tell which one is which i have to put a probe but you can tell that these are the the termination point or where you can charge or discharge so guys look at that it's wired in series in series see that in series and these wires you can see a battery here that takes it to somewhere else with the, these are the bms the way it's configured for charging and you can see this battery is uh, skipped and this battery is tied together okay so you see that is uh, the first battery here tied to the second one here and goes from here to there okay and goes from back from here to the sec other battery here and this one to this so it's a series configuration the increased voltage so what i'm going to do here today these batteries are 12 24 here which is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 21 22 23 24 modules here so what i'm going to do for my 16s configuration is eight batteries 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight battery here. That's going to be one string. Another eight battery again, one string. So it's going to be three strings. So eight times three is 24. That's what I'm going to do right now. And from there, I got a termination point after the eight battery from here. From here. Then it's going to be another positive or negative here. If this is a positive, there's going to be... Uh, negative side either on this other side opposite direction so i'm going to do the same thing for the other battery if you go one two three four five six seven eight he has another battery and that's the rest of the other batteries here all the way back there so gets my 48 volts configuration and um i'm gonna go from there or if i want to do a 14s i can just take it all the way here 14 Right here, 14 batteries, another 14 right there, another, another, sorry, seven. So I am talking about sevens that gives you the 14S, okay? So if I go 14S, I'm going to have three strings and remaining three batteries. Um, it's going to be a remaining three batteries here. So... That's the best thing if your inverter can able to give you a 14 a, um 16s go with the 16s then you have a solid um three strings of batteries instead of having uh three remaining here and um you need that time instead of the 24 right here you need um uh, uh 28 batteries to do your 14s so but for me now i can do only three strings that's exact no remaining battery here for a 24 uh cells here in eight eight times three 24 so that's what i'm setting up so stay tuned for that live and live from the command center jw solo usa stay tuned for more to come live from this channel love you guys all and uh like and subscribe so it's gonna be three strings of eight three strings of eight that gives me uh six strings of 
16s configuration and times that each string is going to be 66 66 times 6 then that you know how many amp hours that it's going to be total live at the command center jw solar usa thanks for watching love you guys and stay tuned for the updates coming up bye for now